Welcome everybody to Wednesday Book Review. I'm so excited today. I don't even know why. It's kind of cloudy, but my brain is sunny. So I put my hands up to play my song. The butterflies fly away. Mm -hmm. Not in my head like yeah. Moving my hips like yeah. This week I'm going to be reviewing The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. This book was awesome. Okay, I loved this book. This was like, um... Such such a good book. What? Why is it so good? This book kind of documents the the breakdown of a woman. Sending into madness. Sending into madness. It's actually basically an account of what happened to Sylvia Plath um, in her early 20s. There was controversy as to when this book should be released because it kind of revealed a lot of details about people in Plath's actual life. Even though she died in 1963. This book wasn't released till like eight years later, which is kind of crazy. I don't know. It's not every day that you're like, hey, um, mom, can you pass the bell jar? Or, hey, I need a bell jar in my apartment. I think bell jars kind of went out of fashion like 30 years ago. Okay, what do you call it when Sylvia Plath mixes her ideas with J.K. Rowling? The spell jar. <laughs> Was that funny? I am one. This is a woman who's like mainly famous in a way for her death, which was um, a suicide when she was only 30 years old, which is really sad. She was a very troubled woman. Um, let's just put it that way. No, but seriously, her similes are like out of control and her metaphors are on planet Saturn. Ground control to major Tom. I just had to keep underlining stuff and starring it, putting like a little smiley face. Cause I loved it that much as much. I love this book. I think, I think me and Sylvia Plath could be friends, right? You know, we live in an age of memoirs that are kind of like cock and bull, right? You remember uh, A Million Little Pieces? Liar, liar, pants on fire. You're not gangster, you're not street. I read that thinking it was real. What? There was also that book about the lady in the Holocaust. Too many motherfuckers be lying. What I liked about this book was it was a novel that was actually more like a memoir as opposed to like posing as a memoir and really being a mother novel. A lot of what she said and a lot of the emotions and feelings I, I could definitely relate to, which makes it a relevant and fun read even, you know, 45 years after it was written, which is kind of gnarly to think about that, that those same kind of emotions and all that, Jazz is, you know, still pertinent in a girl's life in the 21st century. What do you call it when a Nissan goes looking for the author of The Bell Jar? A plath finder. Out of a scale of 10, I would give this book a 10 out of 10. That's right. Okay? So if this were the Olympics, you won, Sylvia Plath. You won the Olympics. No one on the corner has like a like us. Like like that takes care of it for this week. Um, thank you guys for joining me again. And I have to say, if you enjoy these book reviews, please share this experience with your friends. Now, oh shoot, I forgot. If you guys look, whoops, no, that way. Right there, okay? You will see some links to Sylvia Plath information on the web that is good. Kind of like the word groovy. Past and present, that'll matter now.